Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 22, New Pursuits. In today's episode, we updated our color coding scheme for the 2332 scale, which is this thing here on the left-hand side, orange for the root, blue for the modes, gray for the neutral, dark red for the urges and green for the none notes and you can see that's reflected over here on the 3d piano kit um, we did that because um, playing on the 3d piano gives us a new compositional exploration tool so in particular we worked with this identifying more figures to add to our score in progress, which is this one. These are all the one, two figures. So you can see what a one, two figure, it goes an interval of one and then two. But there's other places where that happens like here. And so we identified that very dutifully. But we also realized that we really, really like having what we call the exotic and tablas approach. And in practice, what that really means is everything with an interval of one. So we spent a lot of time today figuring out all possible intervals of one, one, two going up, one, two going down, two, one going up, one, two going down, etc 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 we're going to play that for you in a minute um, and and we like the way it sounds and we especially like the interplay between the the two beat it's here let's play it for you the two of the tablas and the three time of the piano like that so we're getting that hint of exoticness, and we're using a 150 quarter beat per minute, to, and, and we've updated our figure to, rep to represent all that. So let's play this for you now, and I'll take us home, and here we go. So these are all possible figures with a one in them and using three separate notes and they are either going what we're calling a ramp up or a ramp down and the interesting point is sometimes the ramp down is can be found in the same figure and sometimes it isn't see that's a one five down but that's a five one up the only thing that's perfect symmetric, which you would expect, is a 3-3 three, three up and a 3-3 three, three down are the same. We then realized that in our first pass at this, we had worked with some um, intervals such as instead of going low, middle, high, we went low, high, middle. And we would call that now an arc up. But you could also have gone with an arc down, which is like E up, down, E up, down. And you can also do arcs that are going um, the other way, like this. Uh, troughs, troughs that go down. But then you can also do troughs like this. Which is a trough up and down. So there's four more kind of figures we could add here, and we already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, however many lines we have, uh, and 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 triple that. 
with no figures. And the idea of this, of course, is that we're generating figures in a work area, generating figures in this work area, from which we can then do things like add cadences, add backbones. For example, we can hear a backbone in here. Da, 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 da. And, or we could do syncopated backbones like here. So those are all ideas for next time. Add more lines and explore, enumerate the arcs and troughs, identify backbones and cadences. So that concludes today's stream. Thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Do come back next time. Do come back and take care and keep on streaming.